Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real Quick, episode 128. We, of course, hope you enjoyed our Real Talk Award show on Monday. And we are here with our draft of the week. We do this every single Thursday. Suggested by our patrons, this, this episode is going to be our favorite international films of this century. Seth brought to my attention, which I didn't even understand until just now, that century rules are weird. And January 1st, 2001, I guess, is the beginning of this century. Yeah. But the rule is if there's a two at the beginning of the film or the year the film came out, it counts. So anything in the 2000s, January 1st, 2000, anything in the year 200, you know, Julius Caesar, whoever was around at that time, he's produced some films. Um, he was like 1800s. I don't know what I'm talking about there. But anyone in the, anyone anyone know anyone, leave in the comments, who's your favorite person that was alive in the year 200? But we're going to go ahead with our draft. Seth, you have the first pick today. Recommended by Casper Lundberg, crazy. our patron. Seth, um, your first pick, favorite international films of something released in 2000 to this year. Yeah, cool. Uh, I think I'm just going to go, like, I just picked up my favorites list. I'll pick some random ones. Um, I think I'll start off with probably what everyone's expecting from me. I'll go um, Hot John Wook's Old Boy. Yeah. Pretty standard. 100%. Good pick. Yeah. I guess. Probably. The, the, the obvious Seth first pick. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Julius Caesar was 44 BC. I was getting him confused with Napoleon Bonaparte. This is off the top of my head. I don't know my history. Come on. I was in high school freaking eight years ago. This <laughs> point. An old man. An old man. Napoleon Bonaparte, 200 years too early. Um, or Julius Caesar, God, whatever. I, I just, I just produced <laughs> this entire real talk okay. award show. Yeah, <laughs> I was up late. I tested that. I, I've, I've been working a lot. Okay, give me some freaking break. Give you the benefit of the doubt, George. <laughs> right your there. first pick. You are next in the draft. Uh, my first pick. Got to take the best picture, winning Parasite. Damn you, damn. Yeah. Power, I mean, yeah. come on. That's. Uh, I think that's number one. I think that's the best. Far that's my, that's my highest rating. Yeah, rating. that's my probably highest rated. Good pull. Yeah, I mean, both those I probably would have taken the first one. Uh, rest in peace, Lee Sung Kyun, once again, Parasite. Um, Tyler, yeah, are, you, are you putting this on the Google Doc? Yeah. Oh, yeah, might as well share that. Why not? Yeah, yeah. can't we just so I'm I all over the place today. Right? <clears throat> okay. Share. People on YouTube, let us know if you like us sharing it. I think I, think I did see one it. comment that said they, they were being I think like two people so commented on it. Yeah. All right, sure, sure, sure. I like the share. Uh, I do. Keep track. I just because I can see it. Yeah. So keep track of it. It's easier. Hells yeah. um, I'm going to go with a movie I know Tyler will pick, so I'm going to steal it from him before he can, and that's another round. No. I not to start typing that in. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I, don't, I don't know why I thought that <laughs> was fast. Was fast. Nice fast. cam comment. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, okay. So we'll go with my first pick. Um, you oh, know, shit. Probably... I'm an idiot. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I mean, we knew that, but oh wait, no, never mind, no, I'm not. Okay, probably just spraying. Yeah, what, 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 <laughs> what, what, no, dude, because I'm, I'm, I was like, no, that's not my highest rated international film. I have Seven Samurai, a hundred out of a hundred. That's <laughs> like 19, 1950. That's not from this. Well, that's that's the one W for spreadsheet as opposed to real or letterboxes. Uh, if you sort letterboxes by five stars, like you can't delineate the five yeah. stars, and maybe you have one a little yeah. higher. Yeah, um, true. But my first pick will be, um, you know, we'll. we'll Put Bong Joon Ho twice in the first round. We'll go Memories of Murder. Oh, yeah. Memories I didn't think mid. That. I was hoping it'd well, come back to me. Mid Marie's of Mitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my next pick, I could probably get a lot later, but George might take it at some Don't point. Do so it. I'm going to go Don't Perfect Days. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. No, you, I give that. That's a borderline. When I rewatch it, that'll be a five star for me, but it's 4.5 for right now. Um, incredible film that just like changed my whole perspective on life but hasn't really changed much but i want to change like he is in the movie but cam your second pick go in the animated route of course and, and it Damn just it. barely sneaks in to this like uh to the century especially if we're going real century but yeah it's it's spirited away high of spirited mid. Spirited god mid. damn it come on so if you're gonna have the mid you gotta go spear mid away you gotta at least make it work <laughs> not as good as the mid. <laughs> your, your mid marie's of mid it was great <laughs> uh, george <laughs> with your second pick fuck I, I wanted that fucking spirited away so badly um i'm gonna go uh, with uh, maybe the great uh, one, one of one of the great fantasy epics out there, Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. Nice. Mm -hmm. I don't like that movie as much as most. I'll be honest. Really? Does it scare you? you. And, and by I don't like it as much as most, I probably have it like at an eighty out of hundred or something like. That. I saw the comment on your thing come the other day on your video. It was like. I don't remember uh, Ghost, Ghost, liking Ghostbusters film. that much, but you know, maybe I did at the time. I haven't watched it since. And Wait, I what was the comment about what movie? I gave Ghostbusters like, like an eighty out of hundred, and, I, and he was and like, I it's it video. Which <laughs> it, it, it probably is. Ghost, not not the real Ghostbusters. The, the, the twenty twenty one. It wasn't bad. I just don't remember it being that high. Hmm. 
Seth, you get back to back picks here. Um, I'll go. Uh, I'll go. Uh, Julia Ducano's Titan. Oh, interesting! Wow, I thought you were gonna go somewhere else. And I will go for my favorite film of 2019. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Wow. Still on the board. I really oh, I forgot that was international. I actually don't know what you're referring to. Jordan. I, I'm, just I'm going to take it right now. I, I could have sworn this was going to be Does one it begin of with the a C? It does begin with a C. I thought you were going to take yeah. City of God. City of Men mm. is all that. City, yeah. I really thought that was going to be one of the that was Again, I, mean, I, I would kind of just like going through them, to be fair. Like, it is, I mean, I love City. I think City of God is mm. fucking amazing, to be fair. I would have voted for Midi of God, but that's <laughs> Midi of Mitch. Yeah, yeah. I city, uh, city of Peak, actually. So, yeah, Cam- Cameron, Cameron Walsh, twenty-seven. Your third pick. He, he's his baby is my, strangling my, the cord. Yeah, my yeah. my child threw the uh, <laughs> um, threw on the ground. Whatever she, whatever he did. Um, I'm gonna go with from a couple years ago. Uh, Drive my car movie. I really oh, like. Is that 2021? 2021, correct. I'm a I'm a massive, massive fan of Drive My Car. Yeah, I'm not as I st- I still give it a four star, but I'm just not as high as that one as anybody else. I wish I could see yeah, Evil Does Not Exist because that's by the same director, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was yeah, great. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. Oh, have you that, seen that? Yeah, you so watch it was, in New York. the film festival. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't watch yeah. That and Coriata's Monster. I went through the darkest depths of the interwebs to try and get my hands on those, and it was <laughs> unsuccessful. But Evil Does Not Exist and and Monster, I wanted to watch so badly. Um, next pick here, we could go a couple different routes, but I'm gonna go with oh shit, I'm back to back here too. Also, um, we're gonna go with the Hunt. You know, another Thomas Vinterberg, Mads Mikkelsen joint. Good man. Uh, a lot well honestly i i personally think another round super dark i know a lot of people read into it a little lighter but the hunt i think is undeniably even darker than that who says another round isn't dark that's crazy well like so many people i see say like it's such like a fun like happy vibe movie i'm like that movie is one of the most depressing films i've ever seen because it's like how inescapable one of their boys dies of alcoholism i know i think they just just see the dancing scene they're like wow what a fun happy yeah And I'm like, there's sure. comedy elements, but that's just Vince sure. Berg and Jeremy. No, that, that Tyler brings up a good point. People see the final dancing scene and it leaves them on like a high, and they're like, "Oh, yeah. that was a nice." Which, movie. like, even for me, when people post that dancing scene, they're like, "How much they love it." I'm like, "This this scene's one of the most depressing of the film for me because it kind of shows like, like a happy how movie. yeah, how like inescapable it is. Like he like saw oh, how bad gosh. alcoholism is, and he's like, you know what? Let's run it back. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Um, but I get back to backs here, so my next pick here is going to be. Um, I actually just had it up here, but I forgot what it was. Where where did it go? Um, next pick. Shoot, now I'm gonna miss this one and have to just grab something else. But grab it. Well, I, I can't find. I had I had a plan of what the next pick was, and I, but I'm lost it. So we're gonna just go. We're gonna change routes here. Oh shit! And we will go with. Hmm. We'll go with Persona. I'm sorry, Seth. Ooh. Wait, Persona. that's like nine, that's like the 60s. Oh, shit. See, this is what happens when I... Dude, I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so lacking on sleep right now. It's ridiculous. Um, what year did this come out? Perfect. 2010, Anson D. Geneva Damn it, you fuck. And now I'm going to spend the next three minutes searching for whatever the hell I was supposed to pick in that spot. Don't ask me. Um, I, I honestly, I would have picked this earlier. I do have one last five. Yeah, I have, a, I have another five star, so I'll go with that. And that's your name. That is ah, like, damn it, man. Name. Fuck. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking I, of something else, but then I was like, wait, I have a five star left. I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah. I, I, I have a few five star left. So I'm kind of surprised. Nice man. pick. Uh, George. Oh shit. It's me. Um, yeah. Like I said, I have a few five stars left, so I'm kind of caught. Let's go with let's let's get Park Chan Wook on the board one more time. I'm gonna go with the Handmaiden. Ooh, nice. Yeah, coming out in 2016. The Mid Maiden. Yeah, stop it. That's it's just so man. good. Amazing film. Love it. Still haven't seen it. Really need to. So yeah, good. So good. It's actually like it's my third Park Chan Wook actually behind number two. Yeah. Do I go uh, with number two? It's probably my second. Do I go with the number two though, George? Right now. What's your number two? No, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Oh, I've got a five star. I'm gonna go with. Um, 
I know what it is. Uh, Javier Dolan's Mummy from 2014, the Canadian film. Oh, hmm. I still got to watch that. Fucking love Shout out the country up north, Canada. Always nice to us. Shout out Montreal. Uh, and you get your final pick. I mean, there's, there's so many options I can go with here. Um, I don't think I have any more sides. I think. I'm gonna g- give a shout out to, to to one I watched recently, just because I loved it. I'll go with um, Uncle Boomy, who re- who can recall his past lives. Just put Uncle Boomy; that'll suffice. But I'll go with that. I saw you put that. You put that in your favorites, right? Well, I, my favorites don't really mean much. I change them like every month. Uh, okay. so I just put like recent favorites, but yeah. Well, I gotta actually, watch that. I gotta watch yeah. that. What movie don't, is please it? Please don't watch it, George. You'll disrespect it. I, I need you to not watch it. Why well, would I? Do? Yo, I mean, what movie is like it? It's not. No, you'd hate it. Uh, Uncle, just put Uncle Boon Me. So B O O N Me uh, Double E. That double E. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. put that. Off. Unc- no, Uncle, like uh, Uncle Jeff. Oh, Uncle, Uncle. uncle. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. is Boon Me one word? Yeah. That's the one. Okay. I mean, I already hate this movie just for this title. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George, your your final pick. My final pick. I'm between three right now can't go wrong with either one i think so i'm gonna take the 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 queen that is michelle yo in michelle. crouching tiger hidden dragon is when that 2000 oh, oh yeah because that was yeah. 2000 that that's was a good 2000, pick yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Indeed. shout out to our our altered century rules for making that eligible yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, uh, two movies that was between actually one car wise in the mood for love also came out in 2000 oh, shit battle royale was 2000 that's fucking annoying that's was it was really cool. yeah i forgot it was we're going with um all right yeah uh completely forgot about this until i was like scrolling around but recent real talk win real talk awards winner uh godzilla minus one okay it won, it won something right hey, is that your i can't even remember one best one best international, international film, film. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. hell yeah hell yeah yeah shout out godzilla minus one cam yeah. cam's, cam's boy shredding the piano right now <laughs> oh yeah can you hear that? i hear that so he's got like a he's got what was like that a beethoven he's got like a piano he can run on and it, and it makes noise <laughs> we got him that for christmas and yeah so he's he's playing around if you can nice. do that yeah. like that like that um <laughs> What's that? What's that Christmas comedy movie with Seth Rogen where they play the piano? Oh, on the the night before. The the night before. Ass, yeah, yeah. yeah, that scene is such a TikTok clip scene. That movie's ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of ways you could go here, Seth. I, I thought you know you you were floating around the idea of decision to leave. That is my number two part of the Okay, I was I was con- I was questioning whether or not that was actually your number two. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't. Yeah. I, didn't I, mean, I, a, I knew you loved it. I, that you've seen which is like 2006 which could have been maybe chosen as well was that 2006 you know what i mean have you oh i'll tell you first that was also i would have hmm. done as well my, the vampire uh, one you've seen it, haven't you oh thirst 2009 yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. i was like thinking in my head i'm like what the fuck are you yeah the vampire about? 2009 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah okay that's okay that's awesome. like that's like the outlier of his filmography i think like where he just kind of strays from what he's best at but he's still great yeah. It's still erotic as fuck. Oh, it's a horny as shit. Sexy shit, yeah. Um, I'm split between two, but I'm not going to pick a man called Ove, even though I love it. If you liked a man called Otto, watch a man called Ove. It's even better. Um, but can any guesses? Getting with a Y? Uh, Mama Tambien. Hey, perfect transition when you're talking about horny 90s. movies. Itu Mama Tambien, 2001, Alfonso Cuaron. Wow. Yeah, even though Diego Luna and like Rogue One looks like he's like fifty, and I feel like he looks like he's like ten <laughs> in oh, Ichimama oh, Tambien, yeah. but in reality, in Ichimama Tambien, he's probably like twenty six, but he's just like a handsome devil. But there's our picks. Reading off the board, Seth had the first pick, and he went Old Boy, Tatan, Portrait of Lady Empire, Mommy and Uncle Boon Me. George went Parasite, Pan's Labyrinth, City of God, The Handmaiden, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Cam went Another Round, Spirited Away, Drive My Car, Your Name, and Godzilla minus one. And I went Memories of Murder, Perfect Days, The Hunt, Anzan D, and E2 Mama Tambi Yen. Comment down below and vote for who you think wins in today's draft between us four. And thank you, Casper Lundberg, for suge- suggesting this topic, favorite international films of the century, asterisk, anything from 2000 to 2024. And with that, we will see you tomorrow with our review of The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Peace out. Peace.